Good morning. Welcome back to a beautiful jungle. So this bag, this is a bag of banana peels. And let me make sure you guys can see. So um, the kids would eat the bananas and they will peel it and put it in the bag that I had in the freezer to save for me to make some more um, banana peel fertilizer. And I brought up a bag of potatoes. I brought up some potatoes. Um, I was going to, I, I did cook and then I just left it, randomly left it on the counter and totally forgot about it. So they started sprouting. So I'm going to go outside and do like two bags of potatoes. Some of them are going really bad. So I'm just going to put those in the compost. So right over here, I have all of my um, bags that I grew my potatoes in, and they're already prepped. <coughs> Excuse me. They're already prepped, and um, prep meaning that I have um, compost. I, comp I put compost inside of them, but once um, the plants start to grow up, I'm going to, I need to purchase some more. Um, mushroom compost because I only have two bags left so what I do in the winter time on the off season I purchase little at a time this container I'm gonna list all of the um, fertilizer I have in here because I just want to be in I want to be out actually out and back in real quickly so let's get to it so I'm just gonna dig my hole down here and then I'm just going to sprinkle some of this mixture. And this is um, all-purpose fertilizer. And again, these are determinant potatoes that I'm planting. And those, and that is all-purpose fertilizer mixed in there. I have fish fertilizer mixed in there, blood meal, bone meal, you know, the usual. Just dig my hole down. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I'm putting the reds inside of here. And this is the 20 gallon um, bag. We got a little, it's not raining heavy. It's a constant drizzle. And you can see all the different mixtures inside of there, all the different things in there. And I'm not planting for like a huge harvest because I do have a lot of potatoes in the house already. Grab this. And this has pretty much less dirt in it. So it's making me think that I didn't put any compost in here. So definitely going to open up a bag and just pop that compost on top of here. And same thing I'm doing, I'm just dropping fertilizer in the hole that I am going to put the potato in. And then this little green one, probably not going to get a huge harvest, but they were sprouting so i'm just going to go ahead and use them of course you can cut off the sprouts off your potatoes and um and use them but like i said i have a lot of um potatoes in storage so i think planting out six potatoes is not going to really do much or make much of a difference and if i get baby potatoes back from this that would be awesome. I wouldn't mind that at all. If I get anything back from this, <laughs> I would be grateful. I'm just digging down, leaving at least four inches of soil at the bottom. And then I'm sticking my potatoes in, covering them up. So right here, I'm going to, oh, they're falling out. They're ready to go. I'm going to plant some Blue Lake bush beans. Oh, I just looked in the camera and realized I didn't have my mask on. I'm 
And these are pretty old seats. I probably didn't have to open it up like that. Right there. So I have these golden sweet peas. I'm going to put it right here on this, um, right here where I have the um, loofah growing. Let me put you down so you can see. Let me just move this aside a little bit. Mulch. This is a new variety that I'm trying. I've never um, planted this sweet peas before. Last year, I did one sowing of sweet peas, and I think I showed you guys that it was next to my cabbage and broccoli, and it didn't really do that well. Um, I just used it as a snack, an outdoor snack while I was in the garden. Um, but this year, I plan to do a lot more um, sweet peas. And these are snap peas, sugar snap peas. And the same thing I'm going to do here, just move that aside. For these two beds that I'm planting my peas and peas in, um, are the two beds. I had a video where I went to pick up um, topsoil from a landscaping company. And the topsoil wasn't that great because I noticed even with the um, other plants that I up potted using that topsoil. And I did use um, granulated fertilizer and um, compost also, but for some reason it just, it, 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 was, it wasn't any good. And by the time I realized, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, why are these plants not growing? And by the time I realized that I just needed to add some more fertilizer, more fertilizer in there, and I end up doing that with the same mixture that I did the potatoes with. And then they started to grow. But this is the spaghetti squash that you're looking at. And it's late in the season. This is September. I just end up pulling it up. Um, I did leave the kukuzi. There's a kukuzi plant, plant squash planted in this bed. I left it there because there is one kukuzi on the plant. So I just left it in. And I just end up planting all my seeds. Don't worry about the mulch. You can, I covered the, the seeds back over where I planted with the mulch and they came right up. I will show you at the end where they sprouted at, but I do have to keep an eye on this bed and keep fertilizing it. This banana peel fertilizer. This is a five gallon um, bucket. So all I do is just dump the banana peels in there, fill the bucket all the way up to the top cover it up, I leave it outside, and I leave the banana peels soaking for about a month. And once I'm once that month is up, I will take the banana peels and put them in my compost bin. I do dilute the um, banana peel fertilizer with water, and then I will feed my plants. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.